Hi, I'm Teresa Farney, the food editor at the Gazette in Colorado Springs, and I'm in a very unique kitchen. It's a co-op kitchen in Colorado Springs where people can rent space to make meals or sell products. And today we're visiting with a new company, relatively new company, here called Progressive Paleo. And they are making dishes, entrees, and meals for people who are following the paleo diet or the caveman diet, as some people call it. Now here we have Pete Marino. Pete is the executive chef at McKenzie's Chop House by day, and at night he is the day chef. And <laughs> day and night. <laughs> <laughs> I was just using it as a metaphor. But uh, he's also the executive chef and a partner in this progressive pa uh, paleo uh, new business venture, venture so, that yeah. you've started. And then we have over here Ramsey Lowe. Ramsey is also a partner, and they're here today making some of their entrees. So how long have you guys been in business? A year in May. Okay, so that's fair, fairly new. And you have a pretty large uh, customer base with the, that are people that are following the paleo diet. Somewhat. I mean, we Roughly. got a good amount through the CrossFit gyms, but I mean. I'm glad you mentioned CrossFit because this is one of the things that I, I've discovered researching the paleo. Uh, a lot of people who are on uh, like a CrossFit uh, exercise program, which is very intense, uh, feel that this diet improves their performance and their stamina. And Ramsey, you're a, a testament to that, correct? Yes. Okay, and you both have you've both been on the paleo diet a little bit to lose weight. Yeah. And then to also for you improve your performance. And how's that happened? How does that work? What's so What's so different about this diet versus something else as far as drinking uh, squeezed green grass? <laughs> I mean, wow. it tastes better. Tastes yeah, better? Yeah. Well, I, I would. It's definitely I'd have, a lot more filling than the, the grass. <laughs> I'd have, grass. I'd have to agree with that. But <laughs> so a lot of people, a lot of, uh, of athletes, will use uh, drinks or juices and that sort of thing as a performance enhancer. So in this case, the, how does the paleo diet help? A lot. lot well, I find it more through recovery. Okay. Um, you just you bounce back better. You oh. sleep better. You just. Okay. So that helps. Okay. Why do you think, now you leave out some food groups. You leave out dairy and gluten, legumes. Uh, how do you think that makes you feel better? Uh, I think some of them have a lot of different sugars. Okay. So then when your body That's... breaks them down and it stores it as fat. Right. And then uh, like, some of the, like some of the legumes, beans and stuff like that, it's a little bit harder to, for your body to break down. Okay. Certain vegetables. All right, um, and one of, the hard, starchy ones. one of the other key things that I think we need to mention is that one of the things that is really stressed in the paleo diet is no uh, processed foods. And yeah. th so it, this is going back to that hunter-gatherer hunter idea, the caveman, where they did not have processed no. foods <laughs> at all, obviously. No. They did their own processing by eating the food, the whole mm -hmm. food, the vegetables, which is a good thing. That is, you know, that's something that USDA dietary guidelines recommend that we have more vegetables in our diet. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that some per, people that might look skeptical at the paleo diet is the amount of meat or protein, because it's pretty large quantities. On some things they can be large quantities of beef, but, or beef or meat or chicken. Lean. You know, but, you, but I mean, they're, 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 A, they're usually lean cuts. Mm -hmm. um, the beef is more than likely grass fed. Right. So. Uh, it's got better omega-3. Yeah. Else. Um, Antibiotic-free pork and chicken, so we're not getting any of that uh, in yeah. our systems. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, it, it's not, I don't think it's a whole lot of beef or a yeah. whole lot of protein. I think it's a decent size, but you, you still have a lot of vegetables. It's okay. all about balance. All right. Well, we've been here with uh, two of the partners in the Progressive Paleo um, meal preparation business and you can read more about this interesting diet in the Gazette food section.